Hello, welcome to the All or Not podcast. Our official sponsors are KR Couriers and Transport Limited. This is a Northwest based courier company delivering all across the UK. They can assist in home moves and removals to large, heavy, and bulky items, collections, and drop offs. Fast, safe, and reliable deliveries. Please get in touch for a free quote. You'll find all the information within the description. Thank you. Hello everybody and welcome to the All or Not podcast and today's special guest is rapper Vin0151, how are you Vin? I'm good, you know. Thanks for coming on and you know, you could say, some people could say you look a little bit intimidating because you've got a no, ballet no, on. the ballet man, it's fucking, it's coming off soon now. So tell us a little bit about yourself so the audience gets to know who you are. Um, obviously I'm from Kirby in Liverpool. Um, I started doing rapping. I started it in jail like about three years ago or something, but I didn't really know what I was doing at the time. And you know, my head was everywhere and that and fucking, um, just basically fucking, you know, started rapping in jail and that. And well, I've known you for like for a long time, nearly ten years, right? So yeah. I've known you with the mask and without the mask in jail, out of jail. Yeah. So it's been bizarre, and I've never known you to be into rapping. Whatsoever, yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. and I was speaking to a family member who you know very well, our Judah, <laughs> and uh, he said something about you were in your cell just writing poems, yeah. and you took it to your brief and you read one out, and he said, "Look, you've got a talent here, do something with it." Is that right? Yeah, he's 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 he's, he's, <laughs> he's mad him, and he lad, he tells yeah. a bit of mad. He adds a bevy on all the time, doesn't he? But. Yeah. Yeah, like basically, yeah, like I just, I just, don't, I've been able to do it all my life and that. Obviously, when you're younger and you're a little shit in school and that, and you get fucking, they start taking you on all little, little courses and that, don't they? Yeah, yeah. So uh, I, I ended up going to this like it was like an MC in college, back in the day in uh, in town. It was it was a sick little college though. Yeah. Like everyone was in there. I was only a kid in there. There was all everyone from Liverpool in there, all different areas from different schools and that. Do you know what I mean? And from there, I've always been able to do it. Do you know mm. what I mean? So, I don't know. I've just like, never really had the confidence or nothing to do it. So, I don't know. I was in jail and then I thought, fucking fuck it. Why not? I sent it to a few people and that before I fucking done it. Do you know what I mean? I sent it to a few of my mates and then they were like, just do it. Go for it and that. So, st- started an Instagram and just started rapping on Instagram, basically. Did you, did you start the Insta while you were away? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And then it blew up. Yeah. Because I seen you and I was thinking, wow, this kid's got some numbers here. Yeah. <laughs> like exactly. in the hundreds and the thousands, you know what I mean? It's like over a hundred thousand like followers. And then when I looked and I thought, you're messing, you know, this kid's good. You know what yeah, I mean? I and, and and it was mad because I knew you. So what was it like for you, right, thing growing up on the mic? It's fucking rough, really, obviously. As you know, down there, it's mad, isn't it? Yeah. Fucking growing up and that, um, you know, just kick. What did I do last last year of school or something? Last year of school, and I just stopped going to school. You know, started smoking weed, fucking all that shit. And before you know it, obviously, there's a little gang of us, and we're all hanging around outside the shops. This, that, this, that, and everyone's just smoking weed. So I don't know. Like the main thing was just to. You can get weed and whatever, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So before you know it, you're fucking f- finding little ways to get weed. Do you crafting, know what I mean? So yeah. crafting comes on board yeah, then, yeah, don't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and like, pff, by man and that, Bill, like, everyone was fucking doing all crazy stuff, do you know what I mean? Yeah, no kidding. So bef- well, uh. before you know it, lad, you're in a little circle, aren't you? And, yeah. But then, you know, you're coming back to your little gang and you're the one who's got all the money and you're the one who's got all the fucking best clothes on or this, that, this, you know what I mean? So. Yeah. That's that's how it was. Do you, think, you... do you think that was like it was like a bad respect about like what you wore? You know, you got the most out. You brought the weeds to the camp. Right? Do you think people were like you know you, you looked up to you because like you sort of never had a family? Yeah, yeah. It's, mad. It's, it, it, it's just mad. That it's became mad. your family. Yeah, like it, like your mates. That's what I mean. I've always said it. Like it's who you grow up with, really, isn't it? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And my little everyone, pff, you know, I've been out of jail now for two years. Just the longest I've ever been out of jail. Everyone I've fucking hung around with or used to hang around with are in jail. Yeah. 
you know what I mean? You're doing so, something different, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, so I'm doing something different, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know. So <laughs> this is the path I'm on now, so <laughs> this is me, innit? So. Yeah, and it's about like, you know, the path you've been on, mate, it's, you know, we're no saints, you know, we've all yeah, made mistakes. I'm, I'm not sitting here and going, whoa, everyone knows the journey I've been on. It's fucking been horrendous. You know, and I think the last time I saw you was when I was in prison. Like, yeah. And I'm so... I remember I, on I, um, I was, G-Wing, right? Yeah, and I'm thinking... No, I was on, I, I was on no. A-Wing, and I'm thinking to myself, and right? Over, oh, yeah, you were on A, but you come over, didn't you? They yeah. used to come over us for something, I can't remember what it was. I was over to your pad, I can't remember. I was a mentor. I was so in I had, with... Um, I had a little bit of an opportunity to, to float. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. You're all right in there if you got that, aren't you? But yeah. I, I was in with Swes, wasn't I? Remember yeah. in the corner pad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember uh, that. A left wing <laughs> man, fucking mad that, you know. I think Still you speak me, to uh, him now and again, like. I think you threw me a few shampoo bottles, and Yeah, it? yeah. Because that just landed. And it's like, even then, at an age, and I'm looking around, like the prison system, thinking, you know what? People are just getting cut up over spice. People are getting there. Uh, <laughs> They're doing crazy things with this new drug that I've never come across. Yeah, it's mad. You know, because I, I grew up in the era of, like, you know, heroin and crack, and, you know, that was kind of, that, that is our, yeah, that yeah. generation. You know, people who are in the 40s now, 50s, you know, they were hit hard in that. But, like, the young kids today, especially in prison, you can't smoke, they're on the vapes, and they're on that spice, and, and they're on other things, you know. There's, if, if I, if it, I, I, I suppose if I was in that prison establishment then, at that age, I'd have been smoking that. I'm telling yeah, you, it's mad. That's I've been <laughs> young, it? You know that's what I mean? what I mean. Everyone fucking. Pff, when I, obviously before it was um, when I was in jail and I didn't get introduced to it till I turned 21. Yeah. I was in um, Lancaster Farms and I turned 21, so they shipped me to an adult jail. And then when I went to an adult jail, I met a kid on the wing from Old Swan. I don't really want to say no names and all that, but that's okay. Um, he was the person who introduced me to it, you know what I mean? And I'm telling you now, Bill, yeah, like everyone was smoking that. If you smoked weed when that first come on, everyone was just like, yeah, yeah, it's this thing, it just fucking beats piss tests and that. Yeah. So every single person was smoking it. Every Understand, single yeah. one of the lads from Manchester, Birmingham, London, Liverpool, Newcastle, everywhere, lad, every person was smoking it. And then once they brought piss tests out for it, that was it then. Everyone just knocked it in the head, you know what I mean? So if you just smoked it then, after that, you fucking, you know... You yeah. fucked, aren't you? Basically, yeah. yeah. But, but yeah, that, that was the fucking that, that was the thing, lad. It was fucking. But that dangerous. that kind of stuff, like you know, you know as well as me, mate. The, the spice is not like the weed, is it really? Because no. what it was doing, like, you know, it was killing people, weren't it? Yeah, yeah there's the people, maddest yeah. things off that. Honest to God, yeah. people walking sort of. That's what I mean when we, because we were the little little gang on the wing who were like, yeah, yeah, come here, give him a bong. Do you know what I mean? I'm fucking giving people big massive fucking bongs of it, mate, and the fucking you know, they're fucking doing all madness. They don't even know what they're doing. Well, I remember walking around putting the lands and naked and everything. I remember coming to see you, right, when you were in Stoke Heat with a family friend, right? And um you were telling me about, you know, the shit that was going on in those wings, <laughs> you know, with the spice. Yeah. You know, and I was like, What the fuck is this? You know what I mean? Yeah. So that kind of that kind of stuff, right, it keeps people tied up it keeps them locked locked away you know because you know they're buying fucking what is it id cards yeah that's know. what i mean they're spending pure pure dough on the fucking hitting the families up and all this and all that it's fucking mayhem in there isn't it yeah it's it's it's, it's no place to be now is it nah. you know and you've been out of there two years can you imagine going back now that's it's what like I mean, yeah. you said it's the longest time you've ever been away so two years that that's a big chunk of your life that you've been free yeah. You know, and you've done a lot in that time. You know, you've you've started to establish yourself in in the music world, yeah, which yeah, yeah. you know, which is something positive out of all the negative. And this is what we're about here. It's about promoting, um, you know, the uh, the assets that you've got, yeah, 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 and the change that you're making. Because yeah, yeah. you're not coming on here, and you know as well as me, I wouldn't have you on here going, yeah, I'm gonna have to this. Yeah, I'm coming for that lad. As soon as you, you know, you know, we, we've got this, that, and the other lockdown. You know, do you want this, that, and the other? You know as well as me. So it's good to have you on and um, share a little bit about uh, what you're doing differently. Yeah, what was like it? What, like what, what changed? Like I'll be honest now, yeah, like, pff, lad, you know how hard it is to fucking, like, just, just to live out here and that? Do you know if you're not doing nothing and that? Like, I'm being serious with you, Bill, lad. Like, pff, you know, I've done every, every type of crime, every type of this to make money and fucking... You know, when you knock it all on the head and you just go for this music and that, the things that have been getting through at me, like, recently, 
Because obviously I'm not gonna lie, still I'm a bit criminal minded, and do you know because I've grew up like that. Yeah. So it's, it's that's what I mean. So it's so hard yeah. for like I don't know. It's unexplainable things are getting through me way or this or that or someone I'm with it for a bit or go to jail and it's just all mad signs. I swear down, it's weird, you know. Yeah. But like it, I, I feel people and that like how, how it is and that. Do you know what I mean? It is proper hard. No one's got a choice out here. Do you mm. know what I mean? Especially if you're growing up and. You know, everyone wants fucking Montclair coats, this, that. Like, what well, you know, what are people gonna do for the stuff? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, because it all affects. See, like, what goes on today with what you wear affects your self esteem and your mental well being. Because if you're not fitting in with the same clothes as your mates, and you're wearing like fucking proper like like <laughs> crap grip, and they're they're bouncing around and the belts are balancing. Yeah, that, that's what I mean. You, you know, you've got to like, well, what, what's different there? You know, what what am I doing wrong? You know, they're out there shopping and doing things that are that are bringing the money in. So you've got to make a decision that's going to benefit your life and yeah, go, yeah. you know what, right? I can either go down this path and, you know, and, and make a career for myself. You know, and it doesn't work out. Maybe I can get a job there, a job here. You know, but the, the last thing you want to do is resort to that temptation. Yeah, Because yeah. it's so easy and criminal minded, yeah, but you said it, right? Mean, you trust me, it's so hard. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I'm being honest with you, lad. Fucking hell, I still <laughs> fucking... I still speak to everyone. I still fucking know everyone. I know what goes on and that and all this and all that. But, lad, pff, you go to jail and that, you're, you're fucked. Do you know what I mean? Your fucking life's done, innit, basically. Yeah. You go to jail, you know, you lose your family, you lose everything, lad. So, pff, it's not really worth it, is it? In the long, no. in the long run, and, and it hasn't been easy for you growing up as a kid, has it? You've had, you've had your struggles, you've had your, uh, your hurdles. So, what people need to understand as well that there's a lot of contributing factors that have led to you haven't just like lived a glorious childhood. And went, right, I'm going to stand on the corner with these lads and start smoking <laughs> weed and grafting. Uh-huh. You know, there's, a, there's there's things that have come into play in your life. You know that that have been hardships, yeah, yeah. hurdles, pain. Loss, you know, I know your struggles, yeah, yeah. you know, and I know it's it's similar to my own in in different different aspects, but yeah, it takes us to the same place, you know. Mm. So tell us a little bit about like initially what you, you you were going through as a young kid, just for the audience. Just like I don't know, basically like I'm not even asked me, Bill, like by man and that lad, fucking everyone was doing fucking burglaries and fucking all crazy shit. You know what yeah. I mean? Like like before I know it, like you know fucking. I basically just fucking started like robbing fucking pedal bikes and that it was, yeah. you know, and then before you know it, we're coming back to our little mates and it's all us with the weed and we're wearing the best clothes and that's what we're thinking, fucking hell, this is the way forward, yeah. do you know what I mean? Because obviously you get money off your family and all that, but your family's not willing to give you fucking, you know, fucking £200 every fucking day, are they, yeah. do you know what I mean? So fucking... You know, before I knew it, and I fucking I've started fucking burgling and, and obviously I know it's a wrong thing and you shouldn't do it and all that, but like... Basically, everyone I was around, every single person was doing that. Do you know what I mean? So, pff, that was the way I like... And then, obviously, you know, as you get older, you think, shit, fucking hell, I can't be doing this. So, as we got older and that, we started to travel and that and doing them out the way and stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, pff, that was that was me little route of getting money in that. Fucking... I, I think... A uh, bit of excitement as well at the time, and I'm not going to lie, like, fucking... It, it is fucking adrenaline, mad adrenaline when you're doing it as well. Yeah, of course, mean? there's a thrill, you know, and that's a, uh, you know, it's 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 something that's probably like hit your head over the years where you just thought about the shame and the guilt, and that you know because I know for my, you know, I've had, I've been down that path, I've done that, I've got the same <laughs> charges, you know what I mean? I've got the same offences, and um, you know, even going to prison when I show you, yeah, yeah, you know, <laughs> fucking broken to me neighbours, you know. <laughs> Right, I was all over the news. I was on the f- was in the fucking papers. It was embarrassing. Yeah, and the feelings I was going through, lad. I was like, oh, what the fuck did I do? That I haven't done this for over a decade, if not longer. And this is where where where, where I've resorted to. So the criminal mind kicked back in the minute I picked up a drug. Yeah. Right. You know that 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 drug of choice. You know that took me back to putting them old shoes back on and doing the old things that I used to do. And yeah, it was uh, it was embarrassing. And what I do now, and and I'm going forward is like, you know, trying to make amends to my community, trying to make a difference, trying to make a change. Uh, I can't live in the past, that regret and that shame because it, it, I'll never go forward. Yeah, yeah. And and that's the same with yourself. If people start like judging you, because you might get it on this podcast, you might get people going this that, and you know, I've had it. <laughs> get it, people is it. There's a cue. 
get in the fucking queue yeah. with, your, with your name calling and your, your judgments because we've all made mistakes, right? Let the one without sin cast the first stone, as they say. Um, but yeah, and you don't want to go through your life now being like, say you could imagine being a successful fucking rapper mm-hmm. and then having people going, yeah, but he done this back in the day and, and that back in the day. Yeah, that's why I just talk about it and I rap about it and that because, you know, that's what's going to happen in the end, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? People are going to say, oh yeah, well this, well that, well, I don't give a shit, lad, to be honest, lad, the stuff I've been through and that, like, pff, no, I'm going to ask what anyone thinks or says to me, Billy, honestly, I couldn't yeah. give two fucks, lad. You've got to rise above that either way, haven't yeah. you? So what, what was it that got you, what, what was your first hit or... Your first, like, song that got out there. Yeah, well, that's what I mean. So, obviously, I was in jail and like, I was doing what I was doing. I was posting all freestyles and that. And, like, the, when, you, when, you're a, when you're an artist and, the, you know, now and again, like, as I've been doing it for so long and everything, and I know now, like, um, you know, now and again, you'll make something and it'll fucking proper slap off. Do you know what I mean? To the point where you think, fuck, I didn't think it was going to do that. Yeah. And that's what'll happen. And now and again, you'll make a fucking shit one or whatever and you'll have to just take it on the chin. Do you know what I mean? But, you know, so I was in jail and I was doing them and that. And then I'd done this one and the fucking um, uh, Billy Kimber put him in a Rizzler, it was called. And it I just went, it went, <laughs> it went nuts. Do you know what I mean? Standing there, I had like a um, no Peaky blinders, yeah. Off. And um, I didn't even like all them jail ones because I didn't even know what I was doing, Bill. All this stuff, like people were just screen recording them and putting them on YouTube. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So there's videos on there with like over a million views and I didn't even put them on there. Did you have a look like on your Insta one morning and go, what the fuck's going on here? Yeah, like obviously because I was in jail and that. Like, I, I put it up in that and I thought to myself, fucking hell, that's fucking doing a bit well there, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? And fucking... Um, you know, went to bed and what got up the next day to do what I'm doing in jail and bang back up, got my phone out and fucking, I think it fucking jumped from like fucking, I don't know, it, it fucking, I ended up getting out of jail anyway. I had like fucking 25,000 followers or something yeah. in jail. I didn't even do a music video. No. I had 25,000 followers just off just, just talking about all crime and just all things and just like in a clever, like mad slang, nowadays slang way. Yeah. Do you know that people don't understand? Isn't yeah, because there's an audience out there for yeah, everyone. Yeah, yeah, that's audience what I mean. Out. And it's a big, serious audience for that yeah. because, you know, f- everyone I know or everyone listens to music, don't they? Yeah. Do you know Espe- what I mean? Especially, at, um, especially when it's like real life like stuff you're talking about. You know, our Jess is the same. You yeah, know, like yeah. what he does, you know, with him. Like, with his spitting bars. And <laughs> ah, that's mad. It's mad, yeah. isn't it? Like, obviously, you know yourself, though, Bill, because you're from Liverpool. Like, lad, this was never... The, no one was ever doing that, was no, they? No. Like, if you rapped in Liverpool, everyone would be like, what? Yeah, you're weird, you yeah. fucking absolute crank. <laughs> fucking legger. Like do you know what I mean? So you've got to be a bit mad to do it, I think. Do you know what I mean? And, like, so, obviously, because, like, I don't want to be saying, oh, that was the first person to start doing it and all that, but, like, you know, fucking hell. No one was doing it when I was doing it. You just got to have the courage. Do you know what I mean? There was a, there was a, there was another kid, you know, um, Mazzard who was doing it like the same time, and he's fucking sick at what he does as well. Do you know what I mean? And then everyone's doing it now, aren't they? Did so? you did you find it right? Did you find it like a form of therapy as well, like a form of like self healing? Because for me, you know, I was writing about what was going on for me, and putting it on paper, and letting others read it, so they could identify. Um, I suppose if it, if it was doing it differently, it could have... Sp- yeah, like I was doing it, I was putting little things and like, because I know what I've done and that's so, all. Like, like, fucking hell, lad, I've done some crazy things, I've done some scruffy things, I've done horrible things, you know how it is, you've done the maddest things yourself, so... Like, when I'm putting little bits of it in the rap and people are fucking like, fucking hell, this time, like, thinking to myself, fucking hell, mate, you haven't even heard the fucking half of it. Well, no, Do you know what I mean? We normalise it, don't yeah, we? Yeah, that's it what I mean. Like, it's just, you know, it's got to the point where it, it was normal and, like, basically how I was living, yeah, fucking, I was happy with all brand new clothes on and a little chunk of change put away and yeah. I go and fucking sit in jail for a bit and get out and do the fucking same thing again. What changed then? What, what was it that, like, Made you think to yourself, what, what am I doing? Fucking this. Yeah, like that. Was so basically, if you know, I'd done that jail thing, started rapping in jail and that, and then I got out, um, got out of jail, and um, you know, started doing 
my little new little I done like a music video I think and then done to, I was thinking to myself this is mad this is like it was weird it was all weird for me do you know what I mean never done nothing like that before and but I weren't really still in the still in the mindset yeah that I that I am now I'd say I'm a completely different person now me till I was when I started rapping and got out of jail because I went back to jail again do you know what I mean so I was thinking yeah. to myself when I was in jail like fucking hell lad what the fuck are you doing do you know what I mean? You Something shifted. Yeah, like I yeah. just uh, then when I got out, that was it. I've just focused and you know I've been going fucking since like I don't know what was it fucking January last year. That was when I just knuckled down and started fucking yeah, proper going for it. When when I knew you lads, you were just alive. Why you were off? I know, and everywhere, I mean. You know you were here, there, and everywhere. And um, it's it's nice to see, you know, your shows are landing. Yeah, like people don't realise how how fucking like can I stay out of jail for that long, lad? And fucking, you know, it's fucking hard that you know, serious lad, especially with the stuff that gets through at you all the time and fucking, it's it's so hard, lad. I'll be honest with you, I just think it's dead hard to not do things. Do you know what I mean? And do you think that obviously do you believe that's uh, the shame with? You know, other young lads on the streets Defo. as well. Do you think th- there's this something? If not, it's gonna be worse now. Yeah. Because of the internet. Yeah, Do you know what I mean? When we were growing up, there was no really fucking internet, was there? I think no. BBM and that just started coming about Blackberry Messenger. Yeah. And everyone was like, that was shit, yeah, BC me pin and all that shit, but fucking... So the internet, now everyone's going mad over fucking likes and views and fucking, you know, yeah. so everyone wants to fucking be like fucking this, an, that, an, this, an, don't An be. influencer or a Yeah, fucking, that's what I mean, so... Or, a, or a Instagram, Insta gangster or a fucking yeah, Insta it's celeb fun. or a fucking YouTube fucking wonder... It's it's fucking changed from when I was a kid. Yeah, the people who watched the people who watched this, man, fucking hell, we never had nothing. <laughs> we had fucking nothing. It was Sinclair C fives, and no one even knows what they are. Ataris <laughs> and Amstrads. There was no fucking such thing as an internet. But yeah, it's. Um, do, you, do you think it's like you know? I was talking to a, a lad before, right? And he was like, "I was so high, lad." He said, "I'm all right, how are you?" I said, "I'm sad." He said, "You know what? I said, what's, what's going on?" He said, "Ah, oh, lads, your skins." Just kidding. Yeah, that's that's what exactly you're what he was saying. Yeah, if you're not doing nothing, yeah, lads, you're just gonna like, like, basically, you're just gonna have to learn to just live with no money for a few days yeah. or something. Do you know what I mean? He was trying to sell me his dog. Yeah, like, do you know what I mean? People sell, oh, you know yourself have fucking seen the maddest things, eh? The maddest things people sell, every, people that sell a family. Yeah. Wouldn't he? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah, so, you get hats off to people who are still out here, even people who work in there. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. my little cousin, he fucking pedals to the fucking an estate every day and fucking, you know, sits in there from six till like fucking four or five or something. Do you know what I mean? I couldn't do that. Yeah. Why you not? Know? I Why don't not? know, lad. I just, I've, I've done all. I just haven't got, I don't know. I'm not, I'm, I don't know, Bill. I just fucking, because I've been doing something else for so long, like I just think I can't do that. Do you know what I mean? I don't like know a different what it is. Like, look, I'll be honest with you now. Yeah, I fully, yeah, tried it. Once I've never had a job in my life, yeah. I tried it once, yeah. And lad, I don't know, I just couldn't do it. I went there, fucking little bit of pollen on me and all that, fucking for a little whiffer in the toilet, fucking this, that, went in there, lad. And fucking lad, you want to see what they fucking try and have you doing, lad? For fucking buttons, lad. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And lad, I couldn't do it, Bill. Because I'm so used to thinking, fucking hell, lad, I can fucking go out and fucking go and get that and fucking... Ten minutes, yeah. yeah. do you know what I mean? So... <laughs> so no, it's just fucking. So that's, that's the mindset. That's what you've got yeah. to do. You've got to have an income. This is what they should tell you in school. You know. Yeah. This is what they should tell you in school. You shouldn't like because you know because when you get older and that you're fucked. What are you gonna do like when the people you rely on or sometimes when you like you're fucked and you need a little favor from a family member. What are you gonna do then when them family members go? Do you know what I mean? Like I seen some fella the other day and fucking. You know, he was like, oh, me, my dad, and this and that, and I seen him, and he's fucking gone right down hill off it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And I remember him, I was in jail with him, don't want to say his name and that, but fucking, he was a fucking, he's a fucking, he was an Andy lad and all that. Do you know what yeah, I mean? He's not and he's just, well now. he's just fucking, you know, fucked. Because his, yeah. little, his little part of the family's dad, who he probably used to get favours off and that. Yeah, it's a good, it's a good point though, like what they don't deliver in some school, you know, in schools where, you know, how are you going to survive? Are you yeah, gonna cope? that's what I mean, you need to be told, like, look, you need a fucking income every fucking week. Wasn't he none of that going on? Wasn't he saying nothing that to you? <sighs> Lads, I can't even remember, but I don't, I don't remember getting told that. Nothing, nothing got drilled into my head where I was going to fucking think that, do you know what yeah. I mean? Nothing got drilled into my head, you just left to run wild, aren't you? Yeah, I think when we're young though, when we're in school, like we, we, we've got a, like an air of arrogance, haven't we? We just yeah, don't want to yeah. listen, we think we know everything. And it, maybe someone said something where 
you know, we've missed it. And if says you need to get your shit together when you get out and get a fucking <laughs> job, lad. It's just something basic because you're going to be struggling. Yeah, because otherwise you're going to be fucking either on drugs, in jail or fucking dead. Yeah, well, I can't really recall. I think it's all just fucking French, I think. I was thinking, <laughs> what the f- What use yeah, is French? Yeah, what, what is it? What use is French and algebra? Algebra? So I've got, you're teaching me algebra, you're teaching me French. Home in economics, how to bake a cake, right? Mm-hmm. These were the kind of things that I was taught in school, right? And then they give us a white yes. You wouldn't have heard of it, mate. You might have a lot. The young, thick and stupid yeah. white yes. That was what it was called. A youth, a youth training scheme. And they give you £27 a week, right? Uh, and that was it. And you, you were just fucking skivvying. You know, not and ever. There was no outcome at the end of it. I ended up in jail at the end of it. That's what happened to me. But, yeah. So it, it, it's been going on like that. For decades, so what's gone on in your 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 time in school has gone on before you had in my time, and it's probably going on now in in the current climate and the current situation. It's definitely that, getting worse. I see it all the time, and you know, I see everyone everywhere. The kids and then the kids are fucking. I'd say they're a lot fucking. You know, they're a lot smarter. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I think they're very smart. Do you know what I mean? I've met some like little young kids and that after doing this rapping of going to meet people's families and this and that and this and that. I think to the kids and I'm like, so to the kids and that, how old are you and that? And he's like 10 and that. I'm thinking to myself, fucking hell, 10? Yeah. Fucking the stuff he's fucking asking me and that. I wouldn't fucking ask no one that when I was 10, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm thinking that the generations, because of the internet and that, everyone's growing up even quicker. Yeah, TikTok, Insta Reels, everything's faster. <laughs> TikTok. Eh? Everything's quick, right? It used to be like, you know, we'd enjoy watching something, but now people want like a quick fix, 30 seconds, a minute, boom, move on to the next one, boom, yeah. the next one, what's that? Ah, oh, that's fucking funny, get on this, but share that one. That's what it's like, <laughs> it's up and down. You're not even concentrating on one thing, you know, uh-huh. and then you're acting out. So I know, I know you've been subject to violence and you've been on the receiving end and, and, and you've, you've also been like involved in, because I know you're not, a, you're not, you're not soft by, you know, you've been in jail, I know what you're like, yeah, you know, um, I was saying this to our kid before, you've done some crazy things in the shovel. I know, you know, that's what I mean, but it's nothing to be, like, fucking proud of and fucking, like, lad, fucking hell, I've had to do these things and that, and sometimes, you know, I've felt, I don't know, I've just, the life I've lived and that, I've felt like I've had to do these things, and, mm. but I'm telling you, it's fucking not the way forward. No, because he said, he said, I, I, I said, he said that he reminded, you reminded him of, uh, of he was with Terry, was with yeah. Terry and on, um, on, on H-Wing. H-Wing, yeah, yeah. I had a big... Had a big, had a big fight, fucking, and um, on I wing. I think it was like Chris. It was Christmas Eve as well. It was big, massive fight. But they're all chair legs, and then they split us all up, fucking. Um, and they put me on H wing, sent one to another wing, blah blah. And what they do? So they put me on H wing, and I seen Teddy on there, and uh, fucking hell, wait, he's fucking. I did have a laugh on there with him, like, and then my other little mate ended up coming on there. And yeah, we were with Teddy for ages. He's cool, Teddy, so don't he? Th- that's what you need, though. You like you also. It's you'll know. And I was talking to one of the lads who was uh, in stripes in on A wing when I landed, and he was one of the one of the lads. You know what I mean? He was well established. You know, he had a few kids wrapped around him. He was on a cat age, and I seen him not so long ago, and I said, "Oh, right, he's doing well. He's got a job, a little business get set up, keeping out of a out of, out of prison." And he says, you know what it is, Bill? He said, when you're in jail, in jail you think you're there with all your mates. Yeah. He said, but what happens is they move you and then you're on your own. Yeah. He said, so when like, when you've got moved off that wing and you're onto another wing and you know, the, the, the people that you've had it with, you know, where are they? <laughs> you know, you feel fucking, it's quite vulnerable, isn't it? Yeah, it's you, I, I know what it's like when you get moved to another part of the jail and you've got a little fear from that area and you think, oh, yeah, especially when you've been like fucking, you know, fighting and everyone's fucking trying to get you fucking done in and all this and all that. Do you yeah. know what I mean? It's mental. Especially if you're going on like that. I went on a fucking, um, you know, with a drug. What is it? The drug, the drug wing, innit? The drug free wing. Is that where? Is that H wing? H wing at the time. Yeah, that's the worst wing. That's the worst, wing, that's yeah, the worst right? wing to go on if you're having all drama, innit? Yeah, the cave. Yeah, it's dark. <laughs> it's bad on there, that was you know. The first wing I ever went on, mate, when I was twenty-one. And uh, that was where the bacons were back then. The uh, ace wing had the fours and the fives all caged off. And they'd moved them onto the K wing now. But uh, that's where it was. And you had the ones, the twos, and the threes. 
and that was just for people who, who were fucked on drugs yeah. and they just send you in there and the ones that that, 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 that was just it was just a, a, a fucking it was, it was hard work anyway but it hasn't changed it's old Victorian windows you know it's just it reminds me of Cheapside yeah, I was in, I seen the paper today. There was in the paper today. Three people have killed themselves in a, in a week. Where in, in, in Bolton? Yeah, I was in wow. the paper today. I seen in the paper today. So it's not changing. The living conditions in there are absolutely horrendous, aren't they? You got yeah. no windows, no door flap. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But like when you're in there, like I'm not gonna lie, I did have a bit of a buzz in there. I did have a bit of a laugh in there. But why was you not gonna walk around all fucking moody all the time? Yeah. Am I? Do you know what I mean? And I think that's what um, you adapt. Yeah, you yeah. either adapt or you just die. That's that's the, the truth. But we've gone, we've talked about all that stuff, and and that's 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 the kind of the kind of past that we want to put to bed. Now it's about going forward. Now, so what is it that you're doing with your future? Now, what's the plans? Basically, I'm just it's only just started like making money off music, so. Basically, I'm just keep doing music and keep going and keep going and keep going. I'm not gonna stop now. Do you know what I mean? So, so what, 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 what kind of like uh, events are you getting involved in? Because this is it, something that people are yeah, wanting to know about. Yeah, yeah, like, 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 I'm not doing like. There's all different ways you can do it. Do you know what I mean? You can go and do shows. You can go and do this. You can go and do that. But like personally, the way I think you should do the way you should do it is the the Spotify way and try and get money off your Spotify because that's what pays the most. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And so you're on Spotify now? Yeah, yeah, I'm on Spotify. So, so what tunes have you got on there now? I've got a few on there. I've got that move that's on there, Brumboy, Scouser, Blue Tick. There's a few on there. I've got loads of music on my phone, but I just like, I just, I just don't know. I'm just debating. I just don't know what one to release out, out, out next. You know what I mean? It's a bit, it's mad, you know, it's fucking, it's weird, lad, how it sends you and that, but yeah. the way I think you should do it is the, the Spotify ways, the Spotify is the one. Have you got a link on the Spotify yeah, as well? Yeah, so yeah. what I'll do is I'll put the link in the description anyway, so anyone who's watching this can just press that link, and if they, they want to download that song and listen to it, whatever, yeah, you can do that, can't yeah, you? but that's, that's the way you're getting money off it, because... YouTube obviously it doesn't really pay that much, does it? Do you no. know what I mean? So when you know, like it is good getting fucking yeah. million views or something like, but everyone's like boosting over views and all that, but you're not even getting paid for it, really, are you? No. <laughs> Do you know what no. I mean? So these fucking these people from fucking out of town and all that who are fucking grabbing these people and just turning them into rappers and that they just they don't even know what they're doing and that. You it's know what all mean? about like it's 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 like social media is all about like throwing in a few adverts. Yeah, yeah. You know, you're going to be promoting someone while you're doing something. And that's the ad revenue. They're going to go, okay, so we'll get Vin up here and uh, he'll do this thing, but like at the beginning or at the end, we'll throw this in. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's how you're, you're, you're going to be making money, like the Spotify. Yeah, you need a little, basically, lad, you need a little team around you, and that. A little team who's going to push you, who knows what they're doing, and that. Because I'm telling you now, no, there isn't a person out here who's fucking independent, lad. No, have you got someone out there looking after well, you? I've got to, I've got a little team around me who help me in that. Do you know what I mean? They fucking, you know, they push me shit and that. They believe in me and that. So. And do you believe in you? Yeah, of course. Yeah, believe fucking. I've been to all mad, all these labels. I've been to them all. Sony, Warner. I've been to see them all. I'm so fucking. It's just it's it's a mad game. You put, you you put I mean? yourself out there. You know what I mean? Yeah. See, I, <laughs> That's what I mean. There's no going back now. No. Imagine just stopping now and just looking, you know, you might as well just keep going and keep going and keep going. I think I was on a train with you coming back from somewhere years ago, about eight years ago, and I was on the way to see these producers, and I was in the same mindset you are right now, right? I'm going to achieve something here. I'm going to. I'm going to set a goal and, I'm, and something's going, there's going to be an outcome that's positive in my life because I'm sick of jail, being all over the world, fucking being like, like, sorry, <laughs> all the jails, I'm going to say all over the but I've been halfway around the world in jail and I've been like, I've spent most of my life in prison in the UK, you know, I, I, I've fucking been a drain on society, I want to give a little bit back, I don't want to turn into a mad wombo, but I want to do something and that's what, where, where I was heading and that's what I did, I just kept putting one foot in front of the other, knocked on, Kept knocking on doors, showing what I was worth, yeah, and believing in myself. And then eventually, some moment, yeah, you know what, you're at, we're going to take that on board, we're going to publish that, we're going to release this as a movie, we're going to open that up. As, so it's all starts, but you've got to knock on them. Yeah, I don't know, that's what I mean, because otherwise, it's just, that's the way it is, lad, as you said. 
But shit, I'm not stopping now, and I'm I'm just gonna keep going and keep going and keep going, me lad, until fucking the wheels fall off. Yeah, brilliant. You know. And how's your, how's life like now? This for you in a sense of like just just getting by. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 it's, it's, it's still it's still a bit hard and that. Do you know what I mean? But you know, I'm doing it. I'm surviving. I'm staying free. Is the main thing in my head. Do you know what I mean? Staying free and getting a little income, and the music is the way that it's. It, this is doing it now, do you know what I mean? So, and would you encourage like anyone who's thinking about going down that path you've been down to, to to do something positive instead of going sitting in no shells? Yeah, like there's look, the, I'll be honest with you though, there isn't fucking much for people to do, is there yeah. really? Do you know what I mean? No. Like, you either get a job or you fucking don't. That's it, mate. You if you don't, what you if do? If you don't, you're fucking, you know, you've, you're gonna, yeah. more than likely you're going to end up in jail. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It won't seem that way. You could be out for three years, four years, this, that, but, you know, it depends what you do. And if you do bad things, bad things are going to happen to you in the future. Do yeah. you know what I mean? It's always yeah. the way. So this is why I've tried. This is must be why I'm staying out, because I'm doing good things. Yeah. I'm going to see, like, fucking kids, this, that, this. Like, now and again, I'll go and do something good. Do you know what I mean? You're giving, think, you're giving, you're giving life a go, aren't you? Yeah, That's like it. basically, yeah, I'm done. I'm fucking, you know, want to see what this fucking life's like for a bit. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I like that shout, yeah. <laughs> in it all. No, yeah. That's like YouTube. that old life, it is fucking, it is fucking, you know, it is exciting and that, but you know, you go through the maddest things ever, the, you know, some people don't even fucking survive after things you go through. So, yeah, you, you know as well as me, the people that have died in, um, on that, journey going through yeah. life mates it's like you know I don't know how many people I've buried in the past couple of years or have heard about being killed or shot or stabbed you know or lifed off like big uh-huh. big big numbers double everyone's figures everyone's the same where the fuck's everyone going so what's, what I mean? what's going to happen that lad is, is next it's going to be like oh yeah oh, do you need a bar Vin you got a 25 rec what oh, <laughs> do you need a bar Tony oh, mate, he's, that's it he's finished he's never getting out mm. And that's what you don't want to hear, uh-huh. you know. And I, and I like the fact that you said I want to try a little bit of this life now, yeah, yeah. right? Because something's shifting for you positively. So we're coming to the end now, then, right? And I've enjoyed it really, right? But I always ask the guest at the end, what little pearl of wisdom, right? Little something, little little nugget of advice. What would you say to a young Vinny walking through the doors of life now? If you could see yourself and you knew that was you, and you were gonna, you knew the shit that you were going to get through and get up to, and you were in this mindset now, what would you say to yourself if you had an opportunity? Fucking hell, fucking... I don't, I don't even know what I'd say to me. I, I wouldn't do all the things I've done anyway. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But then your life would be different if you didn't do them things and this, that. So everything you go through in life... Now, every single person will just snap one day. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's where they... Like, fucking hell, lad, I've been in jail loads of times, I've sat in jail loads of times, I thought, oh, I'm not going to fucking do this again, and got out and fucking done it again, yeah. and done it again, and done it again, and done it again, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's just a lifestyle that everyone's trapped in, and, you know, fucking wish everyone the best and all that, and oh, I don't want to see no one go to jail or fucking, you know, suffer, but it's the things that everyone goes through and that, but you need to just, basically, the main thing out here is, you need an income, yeah. and that's it. You know what I mean? Sometimes you're just going to have to fucking get a nine to five and fucking knock it on the head, lad. Yeah, yeah, that's the answer, isn't it? <laughs> Basically, yeah, because otherwise you're fucking, you're going to be doing all mad things and then before you know it, you'll be in jail fucked. That's you, done. Done. You can, you know, catch more fucking sentences in there. Fucking anything can happen, you know what I mean? Someone could stab you, fucking anything. Yeah. It's a dangerous world, it's, isn't it's it? It's that lifestyle, isn't it? Yeah. With that, mate, appreciate you coming on. Thanks, Finn. Brilliant, bro.